Happy long weekend in Canada. It is our Thanksgiving long weekend. So people will start on Thursday, of course, <laughs> and try to make it into a four day weekend. It uh, looks like it's gonna be a good one. And we have lots to be thankful for. So happy Thanksgiving to all of Canadian friends. And it's a great opening for me to talk about this dynamic duo of Lana Sarah Longevity and Probio Balance. So over the last few weeks, we've talked about the health claims we can make for Probio Balance. And there's many of them and they're very useful. And of course, we know what we can say in the, in the uh, United States, what the FDA allows us to say. The question I get asked is, Lana Sarah Longevity is for our immune system. Probio Balance is for our digestive system. So is there some crossover there that would make these things really work together? Well, let's look at that. So whether you realize it or not, if you get up at a regular time every day, your body is already prepared for food. So your pancreas has insulin and digestive enzymes ready. If you think about food, if you smell food, or if you actually see somebody else eating. So if, even if you're somebody who's fasting, if you smell food, think about food, or see someone else eating, your insulin is going to shoot, your, sorry, your pancreas is going to shoot out some insulin. You're going to secrete some digestive enzymes in your mouth, and you're going to get some digestive enzymes into your stomach. So those digestive enzymes aren't going to be used and you need to break them down, that's the responsibility of your liver. So there's a crossover between liver function, right? Glutathione being 50% of it in our liver. So we have to keep our liver really full of glutathione to break down these things that we're not going to use, even hormones, like when insulin is shot out, and there's no blood sugar, then we need glucagon, glucagon from our liver to go into the bloodstream to counteract that temporary rise in trying to get blood sugar up. And there will be some rise in blood sugar, but glucagon will, will immediately take that down. So even if you're keeping your carbs at 20 to 50 grams a day, this process still goes on. So there's a lot of work done by your liver because digestion is something that uh, it's highly tied to cortisol, adrenaline, noradrenaline. So those hormones that we need to keep us awake during the day, as soon as cortisol goes up, we wake up in the morning. As soon as that happens, we get this secretion of insulin and digestive enzymes. So it really doesn't have, it has, I mean, you'll do, will secrete more if you have food, but even without food, you still get that. And then your liver and your immune system have to kick in to get rid of whatever it is you're not going to use. So what about if we do eat food? Well, most people will have uh, some carbohydrates with their breakfast, or if they're somebody who's on a keto diet, they'll have some protein. And uh, you'll get digestive enzymes right here uh, in your mouth, which is going to take any sugar that you do have and try to break it down, send a message to your brain, hey, there's uh, food here and we can slow metabolism down uh, and, and to accommodate uh, the digestion of food. So food goes from here down into our, our stomach and our bile duct and our pancreas, which are really, the, the ducts of those are really close together. And we shoot some bile acids out in there. So if you're a keto person, you're going to shoot out some bile acids, hopefully start breaking down the fat and a little bit of the uh, protein, not too much, but uh, pancreas is going to secrete digestive enzymes. Besides insulin, it has Pancreas is the largest source of all of our digestive enzymes. So we really need to keep our pancreas healthy. We're going to talk about that just in a second. So we get food into our stomach. Our stomach is like the mixing bowl that we would make a cake with. It just mixes food. It's very acidic. And the reason there's not much digestion there is because the digestive enzymes are not very good in the acid. And it has to go into the upper portion of the lower intestinal tract where it's very alkaline, and that's where our food, our macronutrients, fats, uh, proteins, amino acids, that's where they're absorbed. Uh, carbohydrates can be absorbed uh, somewhat in the stomach, but once again, most of our food is absorbed in our intestinal tract. That's why people that don't have a gallbladder or they have trouble with their bile acids, food tends to stay in their stomach for a long time and can cause heartburn, bloating, discomfort, etc and probial balance 
will help increase the bile acid and, and relieve some of that. But now we've got food down into our intestinal tract. When it starts to get broken down, there are all these digestive enzymes, there's hormones involved in this, and we have to get rid of that, and that's our liver's responsibility. So we get, get this out into our body, and then everything that goes out into our body has to come back to our liver. I mean, our liver is the landfill site of our body, and uh, so whilst it goes to our liver, and then fats that are left over that we've talked about, they go into our intestinal tract where probiobalance hopefully will break those down and not send them back out into the blood and raise your LDL cholesterol. So there's a great crossover between the health of the liver and the function of your immune system. And then there's the pancreas. So the pancreas, right now about 35% of all people in America have some form of pancreatitis. So they think they have heartburn and they might be taking something for heartburn when actually their pancreas is inflamed. So what reduces inflammation? Glutathione. Uh, also in Lanocera longevity, you have milk thistle, which helps your liver, but you have silifos. Those uh, silifos is a, a ton of uh, minerals, 75 different minerals, and those minerals are all used in activating our digestive enzymes, our enzymes of any kind for all body processes we need uh, these um, um, many, many, many uh, and significant uh, use of the micronutrients, the minerals in our body. We need them for brain function. And then there's a little vitamin D in Lanocera longevity. So to help with the hormone balancing. So insulin is a hormone, uh, you know, our testosterone, all the hormones that we produce during the day that we don't want at night. And then we want to switch over from our cortisol, adrenaline, we want to switch over to serotonin and our calming hormones at night, dopamine, etc., to calm us down. So there is a tremendous amount of crossover. So what about if you eat later in the day? Well then, yeah, that process happens all over again. And once again, when we, when we, if we shoot out insulin because we put food in there, our cortisol is going to go up again. And uh, that's going to deplete our dopamine and, and, and our serotonin. So it's going to be harder to sleep. So there's just so many ways that our body crosses over and how probial balance and lanocera can be synergistic together, helping with the health and the strength of our immune system, just organ strength, our pancreas, our liver, our stomach, our intestinal tract. Uh, this is, they're just a fabulous dynamic duo. So I know this is a little bit longer. It's, a, it's about an eight minute video. I'd like to keep them shorter, but this is a big topic. And it is a great topic. Have a great weekend and we'll look forward to talking to you soon.